And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, hurry and come down, for I must stay at your house today. Luke 19, 5. The disciples maybe cringed a bit. The crowd grumbled. This odd tree-climbing traitor was a tax collector after all. Of all the places Jesus could go for dinner, why did it have to be the home of Zacchaeus? But as we've learned in this series of drive through history, Jesus was always looking for ways to teach lessons to his followers. And in this gospel story, he wanted to show Zacchaeus and all the other onlookers who were witnessing this encounter that the forgiveness that he spoke of was for everyone, even tax collectors, the so-called worst of sinners. In other words, the seemingly unthinkable was now possible. And Jesus said to Zacchaeus, Today salvation has come to this house, for the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. Luke 19, 9 and 10. So right up to the end of his ministry, the Gospels tell of Jesus bringing hope to common people, giving sight to the blind, forgiving the greatest of sinners, and teaching a new way. The time in Jericho marked the end of his ministry, and now it was time for the long uphill walk from Jericho to Jerusalem. It's about a 3,300 foot gain of vertical elevation. 